Hey everyone, it's Eric here from Laughix. Got another video for you guys today. Got this nice 2019 A2159 MacBook Pro. Have it upside down, I guess. MacBook Pro. Now this one's a little bit interesting. Again, they're always interesting. I don't know why we say it, but it always is interesting. But it's in here for repair. Um, it actually came in something like this, and we know this is right away. The back cover doesn't have screws on it, and it's like there's corrosion on the board. And you see the battery connection is actually lifted off there. If we look really carefully, it looks like the latch of the battery connection is actually broken off. So it looks like there's two problems now, right? We have a liquid spill, and we also have a problem with the latch. Now these ones, they can work uh, without a battery. That may not be the number one thing to do, but it's gonna be important, man. It's a laptop, right? You need to get the battery work. So we see 20 volts, 0 0.06, 0 0.07, 0 0.06 amps, not enough. It's kind of hover. Oh man, you guys can't see nothing. All right, so we got our 20 volts here. See, it's going up a little bit, then it kind of goes back down, kind of goes back up. We got no fan spin though. Nothing's actually turning on, and that's usually because, right, the liquid spill, right? See, if I hit the power button, if it changes anything, usually it doesn't. On the M1 versions, it might. I'm pressing it, and we're stuck about 0.18. But we see some liquid spill, so we need to actually see what we can do for this one. So let's go ahead and open up the board. So maybe there's liquid spill more on the other side, uh, especially if it's been open. We want to take a look anyway. There could be damaged components, ripped components. Oh, I hope it's not that. Oh, let's hope it's not going to be something like that. So let's get right into it. Um, let's open up the board, take a look. Okay, let's also just remove the board. Lift it up. See signs right here. It's a little bit of blue. It's like blue's clues. Get it up there. Blue means what? Corrosion usually. And that's what we got. Got some around this area and around here. But it'd be better if we go under a microscope, right? So we can all see it. Because I can't see it either until we go under a microscope. That's the whole point. So let's do that real quick and let's take a look. All right, we got a nice little chunk there. Looks like the ocean. Nice sea foam color. Let's go out, because I saw other places too. Just doing a quick scan. This a bit of a rusted cap there around this area. On our TPS chip. Let's see, is that really it? Oh man, I almost didn't even see that. So let's take a look at this area. See what this area is. Okay, so switch to our board view. We're gonna go over here. We see this is a U4800. And we see the corrosion is really heavy wear. On this side is PB3V3S5, as well as the same, this most likely connects right here to each other. You can see this pin, because they're the same thing. Yep, this connects obviously to a lot of other spots on the board. That's not obviously just the major one there. We also did have uh, impact to our other TPS chip. So let's go over there to that. If we go over here, remember our TPS is also impacted too. It's using the corner there's some capacitors and close to where the resistor is. So we see that it's on the edge there, right? This is a U7650. See actually this one cap over here is what our PB3V3G3 hot. The top there, that was a little bit impacted as well as this little corroded area in the corner here. So what we need to do is we obviously need to do a fix for it and we need to do, so obviously we need to do a cleaning and also a fix for this one. Um, and yeah, let's just get right into it. All right, so we're gonna start near the Wi-Fi chip. This is the U4800. Let's just do a little bit of a cleanup there. We got some alcohol. Q-tip's really good because uh, what you don't wanna do is you don't want to knock any type of components there, especially if there's any type of liquid damage. And using like a brush or anything a little bit harder may actually do that. And we're gonna be doing that quite a bit here because it doesn't look to be actually too bad. It's mostly just a surface level type of corrosion there. Nothing looks to be absolutely crazy there. So we're gonna be doing that quite a bit. We're just gonna be using that clean it up and focus on the other areas too there's some other little spots there on the board there nothing super super exciting and here's a u7650 area it's not too bad we also use a little bit of hot air flux nothing too interesting also put an ultrasonic once we're all done but we really want to focus on the main thing which is battery connection now we're getting to the battery connector and what we wanted is we want to remove the old one because the, the latch is totally broken there um, depends on the case of it, of the damage. Uh, if it's really bad, we can just do a full removal of it. Otherwise, we, uh, like a full entire um, piece removal. But this one looks like maybe just a piece of plastic's broken. But it's really important because it's very specific. So we're going to take it from actually a donor one over here. 
we need to remove it very carefully because we don't want to break the same one as well. This one doesn't seem to be actually too bad. So uh, we've actually made some in the past where we had to remove the whole entire uh, connection itself there. We can move it up. That's if that whole entire connection is broken. But the latch is good, then we can at least just uh, pretty much just swap out an old one with the new one. But you still have to be careful, obviously, because you need to make this a nice contact. It needs to actually be pretty good. And you just slide it in there totally well. Which one? That this one actually looks to be pretty good because it doesn't look to be too bad. It's closing fine, opening fine. Let's plug it in and test it. Well, it's just going good. Amps look good. Looks like battery's connected there. But it took a little bit of time, so we're going to clean it up there. But there you go. Apple logo. Looks good. Anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed watching this video on fixing the A2159 2019 MacBook Pro. You see there was some liquid damage there. Also, the battery connection was broken there. We were able to do a fix for it. Everything's charging. Everything's working. Looks to be good. So hope you guys enjoyed watching. If you did, please leave a like. It really does help us a lot. Subscribe for more content. See you guys next video. Thanks a lot for watching, guys. Take care. Bye.